so you can binge and just listen to my beautiful voice for the rest of the day and then maybe have nightmares. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be looking at the products that I have been loving and enjoying for the year 2020. I've already done a similar video, but just for skincare. I will link that down below in case you're interested. We'll go through all of the different, different categories in the way that I apply them and um, I'll just give you a little bit of info on each one and why I love it so much. So let's get started. Okay, first category, primer. I always use two different primers. One to fill in my pores. That is always a must because my pores are very, very enlarged. And then I usually use a second one for the purpose of hydration or to bring some some kind of glow to the skin to you know bring it alive so my favorite this year and i'm almost done with it for pore filling is the cover effects uh, blurring primer this stuff is is a little bit pricey but i found an alternative a drugstore one that works just as well and it's from catrice and it's called goodbye pores so it does the same exact job same amount of love all year round. I'm almost done with both. And one that I have been loving this year for the purpose of hydration and some glow is this one from Gla uh, Touch and Soul. And it's called, uh, just called like that glassy skin. And it looks like this. And this is so delicious on the skin. It just kind of makes your skin feel like happy and hydrated and I'm it looks like plump and shiny when I put this on I don't know it just makes the the hydration just kind of sit on my skin a lot better and a lot more comfortable because in the winter months my skin tends to be more drier than normal okay next category foundations so I started using a couple this year that I fell in love with and um, the first one is from it cosmetics it's called your skin but better foundation plus skincare and um, right off the bat the fact that it has skincare makes me want to just grab it because uh, if you know any, anything about me is that I adore skincare I'm obsessed I take really good care of my skin this foundation sits on the skin so beautifully it, it is medium coverage has a natural radiant finish it feels really hydrating on the skin I find that it, it wears pretty well throughout the day although with you know wearing masks um you know it we're putting <laughs> we really are putting these products to the test if you have mature skin normal to dry i would highly highly recommend this one i love it so much the next foundation that i fell in love with is from the drugstore it's a milani screen queen this has a natural finish um I'm shade 400 toasted chai this foundation it's a medium to full so it's medium buildable solid medium I find that I have to um, not apply too much because I don't like full coverage foundations for for mature skin lighter uh, coverage is better but this one I find that you can really manipulate it you can go light you can go medium you can build it up it lasts really really well on the skin it looks pretty even at the end of the day my skin feels you know still looks fresh I love it it has no scent they have a really good uh, range uh, selection also for uh, for shades and you know it's from the drugstore Milani really really killed it with this one I love it another foundation from the drugstore that I fell in love with this year is from Flower Beauty it is called uh, get real so this is a serum foundation and for mature skin this is a, a plus because serum foundations tend to be light and hydrating this one has antioxidants in it which also helps protect the skin from the the environment from the radicals in the environment so that's also another big plus I find that it doesn't settle into fine lines because it's such a lightweight formula it doesn't feel heavy on the skin I apply this on and it's almost I, I, I don't feel it. it's almost like applying a CC cream uh, so if you have mature skin um, especially in the winter months I think it's so important to to use hydrating products like this so highly recommend it so moving on to the next category concealers at the top of the line is my jouet this is their essential high coverage concealer I am in the shade uh, dulce de leche this concealer I 
simply adore it. I don't normally reach for high coverage concealers the same as the foundations but this one if you just apply a little bit and then work with that as opposed to putting in a lot this this concealer is so beautiful it looks so natural it makes my eyes look completely blurred once i set it it doesn't really settle onto my fine lines as much i mean but that's inevitable it's gonna happen we have lines we have wrinkles that's just part of life there's no product that's gonna uh, do magic for you. It doesn't look heavy under the eyes. It doesn't look cakey, which for a high coverage concealer, that's uh, saying a lot. So the next product in that category is the Kosas Concealer. Now this product is, um, it's uh, like clean beauty in at Sephora, which means that they uh, use clean ingredients. They, they don't use all those fillers that are um, you know can cause sensitivity or that are harsh for the skin this is a light very light consistency I love it for days when I just want to um, apply a little something and then be and then be out the door I find this to be hydrating under the eye it is not drying at all and the last concealer that I fell in love with this year is the one from rare beauty I am in this shade 320 W which I'm guessing is warm I find this one to be very brightening under the eyes. It's a very, uh, the consistency feels like serum. So it goes on um, under the eyes very, very smoothly. It almost feels like you're applying some type of, you know, skincare, some, some serum. That's exactly how it feels. I find it to not be drying. It feels so comfortable under the eyes. Like I said, it lasts really well throughout the day, but because it's so hydrating, I find that this one you definitely need to set it. So if that's something that you don't like doing, then this probably wouldn't be a good option for you. But I, I feel like for the winter months and for mature skin, especially dry mature skin, this is a great option and I, they have an amazing range of colors, you know, across all kinds of skin tones. So really, really good product. Now moving on to powders. The loose setting powder that I have been loving for a very long time, and I think I've talked about it in my channel before, it's from Catrice. They're HD Baking and Setting Powder. I have two shades. For under the eyes, I used Cool Beige, which is this one, and then for the entire face, I used Warm Nude. This powder blurs your skin like you would not believe. I love it more than my Laura Mercier, 100%. And this is, uh, you can find it at Ulta and it's drugstore price. So I love them so much. I just wish they weren't at Ulta. I wish they were more accessible in other places. Because Ulta, at least the one by me, customer service sucks. Anyway, moving on to finishing powders. So this one was in last year's favorite and it still is a favorite. Hit pan on it. This one, uh, I used the shade uh, two, medium. Beautiful, beautiful formula. I will forever love this. It is an amazing finishing powder that just blurs and it disappears and makes your skin not feel dry. You can't even tell that you have powder. And everything that I just said about that one is the same for this one, Bobbi Brown. Uh, this one is in Warm and Natural and I have one pan for sure. This one is almost done and it has the same qualities as the Charlotte Tilbury. So I kind of just go back and forth using these. They're great for setting all over over the face but they also work great to set under the eyes it just really really gives you that blurred effect almost like if you're using a um what do you call that one you a filter duh a filter if like if you're using a filter eyeshadows so this is the year where i did not i was not into eyeshadows i found that my collection was too big already and they didn't really release so many eyeshadow palettes that I was like oh my god I have to have that this one had been in my uh, Sephora basket for so long and I don't know why it took me so long to purchase it but I finally did and it is the Too Faced Born This Way the Natural Nudes this is the perfect everyday palette for everyone anyone if you are the kind of person that is intimidated by colors and you just like natural, almost nothing, you know, can't really tell there's an eyeshadow there type look, this is the one for you. And I love that it has 
that it's like laid out. So these four here is like one look, and then these here, that's another look, and then this one is like, sorry, this is going in and out. So it has like three different looks, one, two, and then three. Um, they are grouped together and then over here it has a matte uh, skin tone color and then a shimmery white one which I love for highlighting the inner corner so I find that this is a dream I have not been able to stop using it I love it love it love it and then another little one <laughs> I have been also been into like getting small palettes. Um, I've noticed, anyway, I'm rambling. Shut up, Nancy. This little one that I, I got, I, I was surprised by how much I love it. It's from Smashbox and it is their Cover Shot Desert Eye Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> and it's so cute. It's a little baby and it looks like this and it's so adorable. It's so freaking cute. I am in love with this. this this one here let me that one look at that I mean come on and then this other one here I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to I have to show you guys I can't not show you that's that one look how gorgeous how gorgeous is that I find that the the shimmers in here are so great for um, mature lids because we are dealing with a lot of creasing a lot of lines a lot of wrinkle wrinkles and it's difficult to do an eyeshadow look on mature eyes but this little guy makes it easy and those shimmers are just like oh, so absolutely stunning love 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 it now next category bronzers i'm pretty sure you're gonna guess the one at the top i'll give you a second no, wrong. It is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer that was released this year. Looks like this. I think they have like five different colors in total. I'm not sure, but this is a matte bronzer. It is, it reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Tantastic, which is a huge, you know, pan like this. So this will last me forever. This is a beautiful, bronzer that blends so easily. You don't have to worry about over applying it. It's one of those products that no matter how your skin is doing that day, you know how some days like no matter what you do, it, your makeup looks like shit, like there's nothing you can do or your skin looks gross and you've done nothing to make it look gross. Well, this product looks good no matter what, you know, what life is throwing at you. Love it, it's reliable. I know it's a little pricey, but you get so much product. This thing will last me a couple of years. It has no scent. It lasts a really long time on the skin and I, I simply adore it. An option from the drugstore, which is very similar in size, uh, is this one from Essence Sun Club Luminous Bronzing. And I am in the shade Sun Kissed in California. So this is the medium tone. They have three, a light, a medium, and a dark. And what I love about this one, first of all, it has this amazing, like, coconut scent. It reminds me a little bit of the um, Butter Bronzer with the nice, you know, like that delicious scent that makes you feel like you're in some island sipping um, coconut water. What I love about this bronzer, it's very, it's a very light formula, but it has this sheen, not glitter, not shimmer, this beautiful sheen that when you apply it at the top of the cheeks, it's almost like you're combining a bronzer and a highlighter. It's so subtle. It's very light, really, really thin formula. And when you, when you go like this, it just feels creamy. And this is the type of formula that I like because it won't be dry or powdery. This, if you buff it into the skin, it's, go it's going to like blend in as one with your, with your skin. And that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. And it's Essence, so it's super, super affordable. I just wish they would improve their packaging because uh, I have the products from them where the cap breaks off and um, I have to keep kind of just, you know, bring it back to life uh, but they the quality essence products quality is awesome but they need to improve the packaging another honorable mention is this one from wet n wild it's similar to the one from essence but this one again also packaging broken I mean I guess you get what you pay for 
But it, what's amazing to me is that the quality is like a, like high quality, uh, like high end makeup. But then you you know that it's from the drugstore and that it's affordable because the packaging doesn't last. But this one has like the same qualities, like I said, as the Essence. It's very has this beautiful golden um, sheen to it. Uh, this one is just um, like three, four tones darker than the other one. So this one I use more in the summer months when I'm a lot darker. But this, um, you put it all over and you really, it makes you like glow and you look like you just got back from that beach that we talked about, uh, sipping that coconut water that, that, um, um, that none of us are getting because COVID said uh, we're not going anywhere. Next category is blush, and at the top of the list is Flower Beauty, their uh, blush bomb, color drops for cheeks, and this is the shade Cinnamon. This thing is so, so beautiful on the skin. I'm gonna just um, put a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see. Perfect for my skin tone. You blend it in and it just disappears into your skin and it gives you this beautiful, like nice wash of color. They have like four others, but this is uh, my favorite because it's just like the perfect nude for me. It just meshes into your skin. And what I like about it, it's, it's not matte but it's not too overly glowy. It's not like balmy, shiny, because I just don't like that look. I know that the Fenty ones are like that, and uh, that's why I don't like them. I don't know how to describe it, but this formula is amazing. Kathleen Light raves about it, as well as other YouTubers that I watch. The next one is from Rare Beauty, and it is the one in the shade Love. This is super, incredibly pigmented, so you need the tiniest little drop and I love it because it has very long staying power it meshes into your skin just like that other one now I have a, a powder blush that I love and it's from Catrice and it's like a perfect nude it is their blush box uh, this is sweat proof and waterproof it's, it's called bronze I can use all year round I can match it with any kind of looks it's, I love the formula it's not powdery it doesn't have like kickback it's just a beautiful beautiful matte matte blush that I love love and adore okay and the next category is highlighter I have not been using much highlighter because you know haven't been going to any parties or dinners or anything so so it's Catrice 3d glow highlighters in a warm embrace this one is not over the top it's very natural looking although it can be intense if you build it up if you want to so it's whatever however you want to work it it doesn't sit on top of the skin the way i use it is i pick up a, a small amount um, I apply with a brush and then I'll go in with my damp sponge and just kind of tap it over to make sure it's uh, kind of, you know, really set in. And I also love it for it highlighting in the inner corner because it has this quality to it that, you know, when the light hits in different angles, it just, it's beautiful and it opens up my eyes. It brightens that whole area, which is uh, also very appreciated because, you know, that's where I have the most darkness. So, okay. Next category, mascaras. Do you think I have falsies on? Take a look. You know I don't wear falsies. I don't even know why I'm bothering. You've never seen me put falsies on, um, and there's a good reason for that. I don't know how. But I rely on my mascaras from the drugstore. The Essence Fresh Princess, no, Lash Princess mascaras. And I have these four here. I think they came in a set. There's different formulas. One is, is this one is waterproof then they have a sculpted volume this is lash effect and then there's one that's lengthening there's a bunch of different formulas and these are like four or five dollars each mascaras is one one category that i truly 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 believe you do not have to spend money on you can go to the drugstore get this their wand is beautiful like for instance this one 
it's so thin at the end so you're able to reach into those little hairs in the inner part that are so difficult to get and then the one that's for volume has a curved applicator so you're really able to kind of grab the whole the whole lash I mean they they know what they're doing each one has a specific shape for a specific purpose the next category is lips I have two lip liners they're both nude um, that I have fallen in love with the first one is from Joa and this is uh, from K Beauty they're both retractable this one is in the shade nude like I said here's the Joa one so it's like a pinky nude. This one, the quality, it reminds me of the 24-7 from Urban Decay. It's creamy, it applies really easily, it keeps lipstick in place, it, it prevents uh, bleeding. The next one is from Ace Beauty and the color is Be Peachy. And like I said, it's also a nude. Also retractable right there it's also very creamy I love I love the quality so much they're comfortable on the lips they stay on really long so these were two of my favorite discoveries and then I rediscovered NYX lip products specifically their butter glosses I have this one in the shade peanut brittle that's the shade on this one I love love the quality I don't know why I stopped using them and Again, this is gonna be nude. This makes the lips so, so uh, hydrated and, and comfortable. And then they have a, a matte formula. It's a soft matte, but it, it doesn't feel drying at all. It's such a thin formula. That one. It's a beautiful nude color it's comfortable on the lips it stays on uh, I feel like um, and now uh, with w having to wear masks all the time this is the kind of formula that I, has been working the most because it it kind of blends into my lips and it doesn't it doesn't budge but at the same time it's not like a liquid lipstick where your lips are gonna be like the Sahara Desert um, after using it so love love this product I'm so glad I rediscovered it next category is brows uh, as always this one will always be one of my top favorites but uh, which is sorry the Anastasia brow is I've gone through so many of these over the last three years or so but I discovered that you do not need to spend that much on a pencil like this the L'Oreal one I don't have it with me because I, I finished it and threw it out I find that it's almost an exact dupe also LA girl uh, makes a really good one which is also very 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 similar they have really good shade ranges as well so from the drugstore if you like this type of applicator which is the really thin one you can check out the L'Oreal and the LA girl now if you like a thicker formula this is the one I've been gravitating towards it's from elf and the color is natural brown yes and this one is good for days when I just want to th throw on a little something on my brows and then you know get it get them filled quickly there it is it's a beautiful brown that just um, kind of makes my brows just look like put together but in a really quick natural way I love love this it's so cheap so affordable at the drugstore and they have a bunch of other shades as well I actually have it in red as well which I was thinking of using like to fill in my you know when the grays come in but anyway didn't really work out but that's brows okay my friends and the last category if you are still here thank you so much for sticking with me um, and watching through the end last category is setting spray I have two that I am in love with that I'm also almost done. The first one is from ColourPop. It's their Pretty Fresh Setting Mist and it has hyaluronic acid. This has a mister that it's so, it's so fine and so thin and it has this beautiful coconut scent. It is just amazing. It really hydrates your skin. You feel this, this like delicious sense of like, you know, like water being, you know, thrown into your face and it's just like a moment type thing and it gives you a nice glow but not over the top glow um, and it helps melt the powder if you have if you set your your face with powder going in with something like this it just 
it's like the final touch that makes that powder just kind of blend in into your skin. It, it makes it look flawless. I love it. And another one that I've been loving for a long time is from Catrice again. <laughs> Shocker. It's their uh, Prime and Fine. And this is the multitask, multi-talent one. This is the one that's for like, uh, for longevity. But they have one which I have also, I, I finished and I couldn't find the bottle, but it's the hydrating one. They're both, both amazing. I use them interchangeably depending on what I need. Uh, for the winter months, I lean more towards the hydrating one, but if I need my makeup to last, if I'm going to have a really long day or if I'm going out and I want my makeup to stay put, then I, I use this one. I would say this is a very close uh, dupe to the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter, which I've I've used before. I, I used up a whole bottle. I like the, the spray on this one, and this one also has this delicious scent that is just like, ugh. It's so, so amazing. I love them both. So I'm going to link the best makeup of 2019 so you can take a look. Those products I'm still loving and enjoying. These are more like newer discoveries or things that I rediscovered that were sitting in my, in my collection. But um, take a look at that one from 2019 because there's some really good products there as well. Also, I will link the uh, skincare, best of skincare of 2020 so you can binge and just listen to my beautiful voice for the rest of the day and then maybe have nightmares tonight. But um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying, uh, sticking with me throughout this video. I wish you a very happy new year. All the best, stay safe. I send you a big, big hug and a big kiss. Take care, love you guys, bye. Oops, lipstick, bye. <laughs>